Hello everyone, welcome to JN Electric YouTube channel. Today I will try to compare two integrated amplifier, namely AQPACE E280 and Denon PMA A110. Both are class AB. I made this video for viewer to be able to compare between the two and before you buy it. The AQPACE E280 has a power capacity of 90 watt per channel while the Denon has a capacity of 80 watt per channel into an ohm. Every electronic equipment that uses or utilizes frequency of course has harmonics. This cannot be eliminated. It can only be suppressed. Both have the same total harmonic distortion which is 0.01%. We expect that the ratio between signal and noise is bigger, all of this so that when we listen to music, we really hear music, not noisy noise. The Denon PMA A110 is 5 decibel ahead. The ability of a device to control a speaker when it should stop and when it should go and be faithful to the input signal. The AQ phase with a damping factor of 500 while Denon has not conveyed anything about the damping factor in the data from the specification. Frequency response is the ability of an integrated amplifier to reproduce audio input so that the gain in all band is flat from 20 Hz to 20 kHz. From the data, I got the Denon PMA A110 is better than AQ phase. The AQ phase model still has the same shape as the previous generation. There is a box in the front in the middle of which there is power peak meter display and this is hallmark of AQPACE to date with a golden color. In AQPACE, there is several operational amplifier or op -amp that specifically amplify the signal from the balance input. For those of you who want to know the block diagram of the AQPACE integrated amplifier, I present it with a hack like this. The PCB of the speaker terminal block has several special MOSFET transistors to control the output current to the speakers. For those of you who want to know the internal view of this Denon integrated amplifier, okay. I will present it to you. There are two very large main transformer to supply the power amplifier circuit. Why are there two transformer? Well, I will tell you. Two transformer are better than one transformer. It will affect each other. What I have seen here is that the heatsink of the transistor cooler has the fin pointing inward. Generally, how many integrated amplifiers have the heatsink fins pointing outward? I don't know why this is so. Maybe Denon has tested it in the their labs. So, the heatsink pointing inward is better than pointing outward. Apart from looking for the model and price, of course, if we are going to buy an integrated amplifier, that must also be considered is the total electricity consumption. Why does Denon use so much electricity? 400 watts. It looks like this amplifier is similar to a class A amplifier.
let's see the total number of input of each of the two integrated amplifier then let's see the total number of output of each of the two integrated amplifiers there are several parts that will increase the weight of an integrated amplifier the first is the transformer the second is the heatsink third is the body material and four is the capacitor then on which is 55 pound then i will continue with some of the button or the switches on the aqps front panel that demon does not have denon has two main transformers in the shape e and i and the main transformer aqps has one transformer shape e and i2 I already told you before that two transformer are better than one transformer. The function of the power supply capacitor is useful for filtering the DC voltage that has come out of the diode so that the ripple can be suppressed. Total AQPS capacitor are two pieces 30,000 microfarads which is about 60,000 microfarad. In general, this output transistor function only as a current amplifier, not a voltage amplifier. At the output of the AQPS amplifier, it has four transistors per channel, while Denon probably has only two transistors per channel. Based on width X, I act the AQ base as a big volume than Denon. It's just that the height of Denon is slightly higher than AQ base. Many people prefer bigger volume because inside cooling is better. If you buy AQ base new amplifier in Japan, you will be able to get a five year warranty and Denon has a five years warranty too wherever you are. I have gotten price from several reliable shops on both of this integrated amplifier AQ pays five thousand US dollar while the Denon has a price of four thousand US dollar. Make it a habit to buy something according to your budget. Thank you for watching. See you later.